you don't get a sense of how large things are until you're right up under this. Yeah, well, that's it. I mean, so at the very top of the nacelle, um, all the way to the top of the blades, it's half the size of the Eiffel Tower, which is pretty massive. And, and because you've got nothing normal to compare it to, like a building, yeah. you just see these in the distance, and then you're here, and it's, yeah, they're pretty bloody huge. Translation, they're nearly 600 feet high with spinning fiberglass blades roughly the length of the world's largest passenger jet. Each blade weighs almost 30 tons. The turbines are partially assembled on shore, then shipped out to sea, where each blade is attached with surgical precision to the top of the turbine. Every angle has to be perfect to generate maximum power. Once installed, keeping them spinning is critical. Offshore wind engineers say one revolution can power one home in the UK for 24 hours. 